What is up YouTube, welcome to Panfro Games, and we are reviewing Cyber Shadow today. Cyber Shadow released on January 26, 2021, and I'm reviewing the PC copy today. This game is also published by Yacht Club, which did develop Shovel Knight, so this has their seal of approval. However, does this get the Panfro Games seal of approval? Cyber Shadow is an homage to classic video games like Ninja Gaiden and Mega Man from the NES and SNES era but in a modern 2021 version of those types of games, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it really nails the art style of that era and the music. I really have to applaud the music because it's quite incredible. It, I would 100% recommend you know, checking out the OST for the game, even if you're not interested in the game itself, but if you enjoy that classic music, you would really want to listen to this OST. The gameplay is also very similar to Ninja Gaiden, where you have an attack, and you can jump and that's pretty much all you start off with and you throughout the game by beating bosses by beating levels you get more you can uh, throw shuriken you can uh, throw fire up the words in the air you can double jump and this, it makes the game a lot better and by the end of the game your kit is pretty fully loaded and you're expected to fully use that kit to progress through the game it gives you a lot of movement options as well speaking of the gameplay it, can, it is a rather difficult game, just like those classic Ninja Gaiden and uh, Mega Man games. And there is a great checkpoint system that they've added to uh, make it a lot easier for people who are not familiar to those types of games. The checkpoint system pretty much works as if you clear a couple, like a room, two or three, there could be a checkpoint in the next room, and the checkpoint will regain your life, and you can spend your spirit points, which you obtain by killing enemies, to upgrade your checkpoints to either give you full mana so you can throw shuriken or do other special moves or to give you like a bonus weapon and the weapon will change based on where the checkpoint is but it was something that helped you out destroy enemies and get through the levels easier so there is a sort of a difficulty modifier in that respect which i do like however throughout the game the game does get much harder and the checkpoints in my opinion get a way less lenient especially at level 9 and 10 out of the 10 levels in this game so it can get really brutal and tilting, I will say, because I definitely got very tilted by the end. But overall, it's a very fun experience, even though there are some annoying aspects to it. And some of the things I do not like is how far you get knocked back when you get hit by an enemy or when something just runs into you and you can get chain knocked back, you can fall into a pitfall, there are one hit spikes. So there's a lot of things that can sort of cheese you out, which does feel un really unfair at times. And there is no duck mechanic, so you can't dodge uh, anything like that. You can dash through later, but there is no way to actually duck, which I think is a missing feature in this game in my opinion. The levels can be absolutely brutal, but they're really fun. They take you on a vast adventure throughout this world through underground sewers, to big cities, even through the ocean. And there's even fun parts like a moving train, a boat, and there's, there's a lot of classic NES tropes in that, which I really do appreciate. The only things that I did not like as much as the levels was really the boss fights. And not that the boss fights weren't good looking, but I think they most of them were really easy where you can sort of just run up to them and spam your attack button and it'll be really easy to take out. They only get slightly difficult towards the end of the game. I think the last boss is a true challenge. However, leading up to it, it's not really a challenge with most of the boss fights. And lastly, the story of this game is really just non-existent. It's sort of really in the background. The only good thing about the story, in my opinion, is how nice these cutscenes look. They look really incredible for that type of NES NES uh, art style, and I'm, I'm really a big fan of that, and I just love how that art looks. So, personally, I like that, but otherwise, story is completely forgettable. And last but not least, replay value of the game is, I think, rather low. Uh, I hope they make a sequel, uh, or at least a new game plus a patch to this game beauty of this game right now is it's currently on game pass so if you did not want to shovel the money for it check it out on game pass and you can just probably beat in a couple days rather easily and just get one month subscription to game pass well guys thank you for checking out my cyber shadow review i hope you enjoyed this video and some of my other videos if you enjoyed this please like this video and subscribe to my channel i'm really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great day peace out